Hello my precious YouTube viewers. Well, what can this be? Uh, <laughs> well, obviously you know what it is. As long as you can read you know what this is going to be. If I didn't know what this was, and of course I do, I'd be given a clue by the odour I'm already getting from this sealed shrink-wrapped box. This has come from the farmyard, this has come from the cow shed, this has come from somewhere that smells like a lot of manure was stored nearby. I don't know why, but it has that familiar odour. Of course, it's a vacuum cleaner. What else would it be? Unless, of course, the seller has, has played a terrible trick and has packed something else in here. From the smell of it, it could be a dead pig. I'm not sure. I hope not. I hope this is an Electrolux click. Click, not click. No, it's not a click, it's chic. Getting a bit confused there in my old age. It's an Electrolux chic. Finished in a lovely racing green colour, I believe. I think it's 1300 watts. And I'm nearly, nearly, now, whew, well that's a black off. I'm now into the bubble wrap stage of the unboxing. It all adds to the excitement, doesn't it, folks? I'm sure you're on the edges of your seats, waiting for me to unveil this old vacuum cleaner, oldish vacuum cleaner. It's older than probably a lot of you watching. It's not older than me, unfortunately. But like me, this is made in the United Kingdom. Well, I don't know if I was actually made in the United Kingdom. I was certainly born in the United Kingdom, but uh, I might have been made elsewhere. Who knows, but my bets are on Leeds. Or possibly, no, actually, no. No, probably East Yorkshire near Beverley, I think I was actually conceived. But anyway, you don't need to know that. All you're interested in is this vacuum cleaner. Otherwise, why, why else would, would you be watching me unbox a vacuum if you're not interested in the contents of this box? The box, of course, looks a bit sorry for itself. Well, got a lot of bubble wrap anyway. Right, not sealed, of course. I didn't expect it to be factory sealed. It's certainly not factory fresh. Here it is, an Electrolux Click. Now, I don't know much about Electrolux vacuums. Being a Hoover man myself, when this machine was on the, in the marketplace, um, so I didn't have anything to do, but I'm assuming it's a lightweight, budget-priced vacuum cleaner from Electrolux's range. Not a top model by any means. But, oh, we've got some ticks. Let's check off these ticks, shall we? Well, it's got a carpet and floor nozzle. Tick! It's got, oh, I'm not really sure. That doesn't really say much, does it? It doesn't say whether it's got two extension tubes or a telescopic. It's saying tick. I think it's two, but I do believe they're metal. It's got a hose, tick. You need a hose on a cylinder vacuum, and it swivels at either end. It's got a dust bag, tick, and it's got, oh, that's something I didn't realise it did, three onboard tools. So perhaps they're stored underneath the machine. I'm not sure. I don't think they're stored inside. They might be underneath. So, that's interesting. Let's have a look at the other side before we delve into the box. So, yes, good old made in Britain. That's what I like to see. No made in PRC for this vacuum cleaner. Its model reference is Z1863. The maximum gross weight of the box is 9 kilograms. There's a product number there. It's a vacuum cleaner, as if we didn't know. 230 volts, 1300 watts, and the colour is green. Okay, that's what the box says. Let's see what the reality 
of this. Oh, I, I, I detect some mould, unfortunately. You know, I can't use these. Now, they're reusable bags because they're open. I'm going to have to wash my hands after this. The bags are open here, so that means there should be a plastic slide in order to seal the bags and reuse them. And they're a double-walled bag, as you can see. But, as you can see and as I can smell, they are mouldy. It's all very well getting old vacuum cleaners, but if they've not been stored in the correct environment, you can be storing yourself up some trouble. So I'll have to bin those. Oh, I haven't seen the instruction book yet. Here is just some after sales service service centre addresses. I expect all these places no longer exist. Who knows? Probably not. What's the date on this, if there is any date? Um, can't really see a date on there. Ah, there is an instruction book. A little bit mouldy, but there is the instruction book. For the chic, or chick, you could pronounce that, but it is pronounced chic, I believe. Or classic instructions for use. The one picture does show variable speed control, but I'm sure this model doesn't have that feature. Pretty basic. Oh, I hope there is a plug. Oh yes, permanently connected is a mains plug. It just shows you if you need to rewire the machine. So yes, it has tool storage on the underside of the cleaner. So that's a little surprise I wasn't expecting. I'm pretty sure it will not. Ah, it's only the classic model that has electronic suction control. Changing the bag, changing the filter and mentioning air freshener. Ah, which is an optional extra. They don't supply the air freshener. They did supply the air freshener, I believe, with my Electrolux 2020 and my Electrolux Airstream, another two vintage-ish cleaners. Probably will need some sort of an air freshener if I'm to use this. Right, there's no sign of any hose or tools, but I believe they'll be underneath the vacuum. <laughs> now, it is, seems a bit dusty, but it is in a plastic bag, so hopefully, the plastic bag will have protected it. I will pop the machine to one side. And we can see inside here should be all the cleaning tools. And there we have them. Let us delve into, I'm surprised actually, if it's got onboard tool storage, why these weren't actually on board. Hmm, pretty common to have this fault with a dusting brush. The brush, brushes, bristles are a bit distorted, but I have many vacuums I've bought in the past. Even new ones have been a little bit distorted. A little bit of very hot water soaked in that for a little while does normally restore the brushes. Quite a small nozzle and quite stiff, rigid brushes. Nothing like as good as the nozzle you get with some Electrolux cleaners, older Electrolux cleaners, the dual purpose dusting brush and upholstery tool. So there's your tiny, tiny dusting brush. I'd say that's about 15 to 20 centimeters long, so not as long as the crevice tool I got supplied with my other Electrolux cleaners. But they're made smaller, so I assume, so they fit on board, that is tiny. That's so tiny. Don't, don't even get any thread pickers on either side of that. That is, that is wee, as they say in Scotland. That is a small little nozzle. But again, it's not the size, it's what you do with it. So I suppose you can get into nooks and crannies with that nozzle. Here's the hose. Nice bit of a rubber seal. I like these uh, fittings that Electrolux supplied with their vacuum cleaners. They give you a nice, firm, secure seal. It feels quite rigid, this hose. Here's the handle end. 
with your yeah, suction control. Open for reduced suction, closed for maximum. We are getting to the stage, although it's British made, it is at a budget end, so it, it doesn't feel as if it doesn't feel a quality item, let's say that. Although compared to certain vacuums we now have made in China, it reeks quality. I don't know why I said reek, I've just been watching Game of Thrones. There's a gentleman in there. He calls, well he doesn't call himself Reek. He was named Reek by this rather nasty man who, who cut off this gentleman's part and pretended to eat it. He didn't actually, it was just a sausage. There, that's a good nozzle, isn't it? I do like a nice shiny base plate on my nozzles. Most of them are plastic these days, but that's nice and metal and shiny bright. And two litter pickers either side of quite a large suction inlet. So it's like it's got four suction channels really. It's a bit like those razors that uh, well nowadays I don't know do they have six or eight blades some of these razors now? I don't shave anymore so but uh, used to be a used to be a new thing for a razor to have two blades. One shaves you close the second closer still I think the tagline went but this well, this possibly sucks close, and then the second suction channel sucks even more. Who knows? Pretty standard foot operated pedal there to lower brushes either side, front and back. And made, oh, it's made in Germany, that head. Vacuum's made in the UK, but the cleaning head is German. So that's a good sign. I don't mind seeing made in Germany. I prefer to see made in Britain, but made in Germany, that's the second country of manufacturer I like to see. As I thought, it is too metal extension tubes. I expect the classic model had the telescopic extension tube, but because this tube has been sealed up in a bag. Any moisture hasn't managed to affect the nice shiny finish. I do prefer a telescopic tube myself, but anyway, there we go. Two super shiny metal tubes, whoops. And that is everything. So we can pop the box to one side and the other cardboard packaging. Reach over and have a look at the vacuum cleaner. Whee! There we go. Just a little bit apprehensive, just giving it the once over. Yes. Years and years of experience of handling vacuum cleaners. I do know when something's quality and when something isn't. Now, this isn't as good as say the vintage Electrolux 2020, I believe it was. That did feel like a quality item, but it's a f it was a few years older than this. So Electrolux have started to cheapen their build, but it's still a lot better than the majority of vacuums you get now. Here's the rating plate, and as you can see underneath the indentations where the cleaning tools go. Oh, can't hold this for much longer. It's not very heavy, but when it's at arm's length, that's uh, quite a weight. Anyway, made in Britain basically says what I've what it said on the box. You've got your two wheels quite smooth and of course your front swivel caster fairly smooth so shall we put the uh, tools in so there's oh no, does it go that way hmm. oh is that it there that's the way that's the way to do it and there's a little little gap there to stick your finger to remove it so that's your furniture slash all-purpose nozzle. 
dusty brush. That way, I think possibly. Yeah. Obviously, they have to be flush because if they stick out, they'll be, you know, they'll be catching on the carpet as you pull the machine along. I don't really want to push that in because I fear that when I push this in, it's going to scratch that nozzle up. Well, what is the point of having things if you don't use them? There we go. So there are the onboard tools stored discreetly underneath. Right, I'll just reposition the camera, I think, and then we can have a look at the vacuum in a bit more detail. So here we have the Electrolux Chic Vacuum Cleaner. Can we date it? I don't know if we can date it from the serial number. Possibly 1993. Would that be that easy? The serial number is 645, no, 645-01493, so perhaps it was made in April 93, possibly. I do believe it's from the 90s. But anyway, here it is. Lovely racing green colour. Still got the Queen's Crest Royal Appointment. There we go, getting a bit of reflection there. Don't look at the reflection, look at the crest. Don't look at the mess. It's uh, by appointment to Her Majesty the Queen Elizabeth II, suppliers of suction cleaners and floor polishers, Electrolux Limited Luton Beds. Just below the hose inlet, we've got, looks like a piston type bag check indicator. This is obviously the exhaust vent, so vents out of the top. And you've got your foot operated, oof, doesn't sound very good. Foot operated on off and foot operated cord rewind. Let's see what the plug looks like. And it's one of those thin cords. Whoever used these, it's one of those flat type cords. Let's pull it all the way. Let's go all the way. Let's go all the way. Oh, there we go. Didn't take long to pull that out, did it? Let's see, I mean, it, it's a bit curled up, but it might rewind. Let's have it, uh, let's give it a go, shall we? Now, as I suspected. There we go, it would have been fine. Put a nice little round plug on this one. Standard three pin plug, fitted with a fuse. 13 amp fuse fitted. You've got a, a softish bumper that goes all the way round. This is probably the area which would suffer the most knocks when you're using the machine, the front bit here. So that's everything on the machine. Let's open it up now. How do we get into it? Ah, now that's different. I was trying to get into it this way but my eagle eyes detected a little area here. So I'm assuming, possibly, oh, yes. Ah, and it comes completely off. That's the top. ABS plastic. There is a date wheel in here, but it doesn't really show me much at all. Again, it's, there's a two and a one. No, it doesn't really tell me anything. Ah, built by, ah no, this is another one. Built by 2069. Not built in 2069, but it was built by, hello 2069, are you watching? Do you remember building this when you used to work for Electrolux in Luton on the production line? I bet many vacuums passed through your hands, didn't they? Could be a lady, could be a man, I don't know. But anyway, here's some of your handiwork. For all to see on YouTube. So, here's a sort of a micro exhaust filter. I don't suppose, it's very thin, and I don't suppose that's washable. I expect that's designed to be replaced. The motor is just behind that grill there. You can pop that back on. And here we have the fitted dust bag, which doesn't seem to have gone mouldy like the ones that were in the box. 
or has it? No. That bag's fine. I'm sure I can still buy bags for this. And there's the slide that we remove to empty and reuse the bag. Just says, oh, just use it once only, reuse it once. Electrolux say, repeated reuse will reduce the machine's cleaning efficiency. Check the bag regularly or bag indicator regularly when fitted. Over full dust bags reduce the machine's cleaning efficiency. Please note it's important that the top end of the dust bag is folded over twice before sliding on the bag clip. Otherwise the seal will not be effective. It's pretty typical of this era. Hoover reusable bags you had to fold over twice or even three times and then you'd slide the clip over. So as I say it's paper, double layered, got a little bit of a silicony, flexible, rubbery type seal. Ah, now this part, the black bit. Cracky, there's a lot of people built this. There's three different, <laughs> there's three different stickers on this particular part. So, <laughs> it was built by 0024, it's also built by 0063, and built by 001. Ooh, 001, perhaps they were the first person to start working in that factory. 001, eh? Well, we are honoured. That's a bit of an unusual design. Why is it like that? Oh, no, that doesn't move. That's why. Oh, yeah, that's fine, yeah. Little bit of, um, little bit of green plastic debris there from the manufacturing process. Gone forever now. You've got a little pre-motor filter here, a black one. I'll try and get that out. Oh dear, it's a bit tricky. It's just, I'll just have to do it off camera. Actually, I might have been off camera then. I wasn't checking if you could see. Oh, it's got two. <laughs> it's got one. I've taken one out, but there's another one. There we are, there's another one here, look. Oh, there we go. Two. And then underneath that, you, know, you won't be able to see, but there is the, I can just see part of the fan. I wonder how noisy this machine will be. Soon gonna find out, folks, because I'm going to plug it in. So that's, that's the pre-motor filter. Pop the bag back in. I slide it in place. Which way does it go? That way, I think. Yes. That's the bag in. And we'll pop the bag cover back on. Is there any particular way it goes on? I think you locate it at the front. See, there are two sticky out bits. I must look up what these are called. I'm going to call them lugs, actually. Two lugs sticking out. Two holes here, so I assume, locate the lugs. In fact, I wonder what Electrolux call those bits, if they do. And then push down and you're ready to clean. What do Electrolux say those bits are called? Because it must say, checking the dust bag. Da -da -da -da. Dee -dee -dee. Oh, what are they? They're mark number five. Let's disconnect the hose before taking the top off. Mm. Warns you against using shake and vac, as the other Electrolux cleaners I've unboxed have warned against. The front of the machine doesn't really say, just shows you what to do, it doesn't say what that bit's called. Guarantee, expect it's a year. Uh, 1996, this is 1996 on the instruction book. So let's pull out the flex again. There's no red or, um, or yellow sticker on these. You get on modern machines to say don't pull it out too far. But once I've pulled it out enough, I'm just going to let it back in a bit. I've just got uh, this little extension socket just out of camera shot, so I'll lean over. Right, it didn't turn on, that's good. Well, is it? 
<laughs> now the air's going to come out of here so I don't really want it to disrupt the sound of the uh, video because it might blow into the microphone. Turn it around this way perhaps. Looks very smart in my viewfinder in this racing green colour. Okay, it's going to, I don't think there'll be any sort of soft start, it's just going to be an instant, phew, hopefully, 1300 watts. Here goes. <laughs> Not too bad, doesn't sound as sweet as my old Electrolux 2020. Pop the hose on, nice cure, that needs a bit of a wipe, that rubber part. But it's a lovely secure fitting. It takes about one and a half meters this hose. There we go, let's have a, another go. Not bad, not bad suction, not bad for the 90s, ooh, ooh I don't like the sound of that, oh there, there we go, ooh, that took a while to push on, connect up the other hose, not the hose, the tube, only goes one way, oh, I don't really, I don't even like doing this, because as soon as you do this you can scratch things up but you need to secure them otherwise they'll put, they'll come apart and then nozzle on the end there there we go turn that round Oof. the legs are gone to sleep again ah oh, heck well that's very ooh this if you were quite tall it's quite um you're not stooping or bending with this one. Let's just reposition the camera for you. There we go. Let's see the machine a bit better now. Yeah, it's a lovely looking vacuum. A bit basic, but you know, since getting my other Electrolux vintage-ish cleaners, I wanted to add to my Electrolux machine. So now this is the fourth I've got the Electrolux 2020 Super Boost, I've got the Electrolux Airstream, the Electrolux Power System, and now the Electrolux Chic. So, I like that. I like it a lot. But, I don't think I'll be using it, to be honest. Keep it nice. I have at least turned it on. So it's filled its uh, purpose, it's been switched on, it's had a starring role in a YouTube video. Stands on its end, or sits on its end for cleaning stairs. No sort of storage bracket on this machine, like I say it's very basic. I expect, I have no idea, maybe an old Argos scan would show me, but I would expect this would, would have retailed for around, I don't know, 70, 80 pounds back in the 90s. It's quite expensive for now. We can get machines much cheaper, but of course, not quite as good as this. So there we go. I think that, that'll do for this vid. Sorry my socks don't match. I was, I was meaning to, to find some socks with some racing green in. They're a bit of a clash, but never mind. At least I've got socks on, eh? So there we go. That is the Electrolux Chic Light Vacuum. Let's just rewind the cable. Let's move it that way. Unplug it. Hopefully it'll all go in in one go this time. Yes, just help it along. There we go. Well, there we go. Thanks for watching. 
you like to subscribe please do because there'll be a lot more vacuum cleaners unboxed and reviewed on this channel. If you click the link below you can find me on Facebook now. I have a, a page called iBasiac on Facebook where you'll find some exclusive behind the scenes content, some uh, exclusive photos and you can join other people who like watching these videos, who like vacuum cleaners and I'm sure by the time I've uploaded this there'll be a few people on on that page with a lot of knowledge on various vacuums so you can ask me things on there of course if I don't know the answer I'm sure somebody following iBasiac will be able to answer your question. So for me Roger and the Electrolux chic vacuum cleaner it's goodbye and I'll see you soon.